We have to understand leadership as practice because the practice of leading is where the rubber of school leadership meets the road of instructional or improving teaching. Uh, you can change structures, you can change roles, you can change positions, you can create new organizational charts, uh, but all these things might change and the day-to-day -day practice of leading can still remain the same. Uh, therefore, we have to really get to the heart of the matter. We have to really focus in on what happens from one day to the next when it comes to leading, uh, teaching and learning in a school, in a school system. Um, this, the implications for uh, schools are that uh, we need to create situations where school leaders uh, can actually reflect on, study their own practice. Uh, not just study the organizational chart, not just study the definitions uh, of particular uh, roles and responsibilities in the school, but actually reflect on what happens in a faculty meeting, in a grade level meeting, in a department uh, uh, meeting. And to do that, for example, we might uh, videotape uh, ourselves practicing, uh, facilitating a faculty meeting or a school assembly, and then uh, sit down and uh, critically analyze uh, the practice that's going on. Is it really supporting uh, the development of innovative ideas? Is it uh, creating situations that promote innovation, the emergence of new ideas, or perhaps it's just stifling that?